Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and this new series is about mindfulness. What is about mindfulness to understand the concept and how to practice. So mindfulness, the Buddhists recommend us to harmonize our mind, to ha find inner peace, is to keep our mind in the present moment. So any activity can be mindfulness if we are focusing the present moment. It could be gardening, walking in the silence, um, painting. So the idea is that we are able to keep our mind in the present moment without too many distractions, which just are the same principles of meditation. So we are going to try to understand this concept and to understand that mindfulness is not an activity that we do one day, one hour, or every week, one hour. I go to my class of mindfulness. No, it's more about, it's a constantly practice, and that is going to give us the harmony and the peace we are looking for. So it's a constantly understanding and how to keep us in the present moment. So for example, like when we dress in ourselves every day in the morning, it's something that we do in automatic. And normally when we have automatic actions is when our mind is overthinking. Because we are dressing, but we are thinking, oh, the shopping or the supermarket, oh, I have to call this, oh, I have this, 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 this. Sometimes it's just the things we need to do on the day, or sometimes things really, really ahead in the future, or, some, or sometimes it's in the past. We're thinking, uh, oh, I shouldn't do that, I should do it better. So this constantly fluctuation between the past and the future. So with the mindfulness, we want to bring us into the present moment. And it's not an activity, it's a constantly practice. Of course, for some of us, it's going to be difficult at the beginning because we're not used to, to keep our mind in the present moment. We're constantly thinking, thinking, thinking. And the mind is made for that, is to be focused in something. But sometimes that mind get focusing many things, many things constantly, that we get overwhelmed in our mind. Sometimes we can't know anymore. There is too much stress. But the other thing, our thoughts in the past can make us really sad because the past is gone. So we cannot really change anything. And when we, our thoughts are in the future, it's an unpredictable future. So that creates stress. So we don't realize how strong are our thoughts when they are fluctuating between the past and the future. So the learning is how to keep us in the present moment. And at the beginning, I remember when I started to do this practice, I was thinking like, oh, it's going to, I don't feel that I am working. I don't feel that I am active because just to keep my mind in the present moment, like I be fully aware when I was uh, when I am dressing, that is really thing like and now what can I do? What can I think? Should I not think? So it really conflict you at the beginning, but then we start to do it more like more practice, become a habit, and then we start to realize other things that we never experiment because our mind was constantly in somewhere else. One of the biggest things I, I I experiment when I was driving, driving, you know, because when you are driving, you know where to go, and this is something automatic. You might think and blah blah blah. But when I start just to drive and really focus on what I'm doing, what is happening around me, I start to discover new things that always I was passing by and never saw them. Oh, I start to see more the birds, for example, if something happened too much, you know, that when I am really and driving and everything, and I can see all the birds and. I start to realize, oh my God, there are so many birds, you know, every day. So these little details of light that we miss because our mind is overthinking. Other example is, for example, when we go on holidays, we're very excited to go on holidays. And then before our holidays, we think I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to relax and blah, 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 blah. And then when we go to that point of the holidays, when the holidays, they arrive, we are like a there but then we are thinking oh when i come back and i should this and oh this hotel doesn't give me what i want and it's the same story we don't live the present moment so that is the deeper understanding 
of the mindfulness to apply to our daily activities, to our normal life. Okay, so we're going to start, so it's going to be four videos helping us to how to move into this stage. We can call it meditation stage as well or mindfulness, but the meditation have more deep into ourselves and the mindfulness is more applied as well when we are doing our daily routines, our daily activities. And we will find loads of benefits even when we are interacting with people. So let's start. So what I highly recommend is to always make the space comfortable and make the space kind of inspire you, you know? If you are in a room with too many things, you might be a little bit distracted, but even like that, you can still put your concentration in pause. The best thing to do is put a candle, and if you have aromatherapy, it will help you, or an incense. Light the candle, always give it that sensation of hope, faith, power, strength, energy. So it's good to have a candle and more to be able to concentrate in something which is going to be, could be the light of the candle or could be just the smell of the aromatherapy. So light the candle, make your place comfortable, put some incense of aromatherapy and make yourself comfortable. Now, this activity can be completely lying down on the floor, but when you are lying on the floor, it's easier to fall asleep. You can be sitting, but for some of us, sitting on the floor is uncomfortable or it's hard to keep our back straight. So we can sit down on a chair, any place that you really feel good, but that your spine keep straight. If you feel it's tiring you to keep your back straight, you can always sit down against the wall. And also you can put some cushions at the back to make you really feel comfortable in this, in this pose. So the first things we're going to learn is just a simple exercise. We're going to keep moving our attention into the breath. Sounds really easy, but it's so difficult. When our mind is always constantly thinking, 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 when you really want it to just focus in the breath, it's quite impossible sometimes for us. But the most important, don't give up. Keep going. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. So we're going to start. Take any position that you feel com comfortable. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. You can keep your eyes open, but sometimes it's good to close your eyes because it really disconnects you from the outdoor. Now, your hands position could be in any mudra position, any yoga mudra position, you know, this one. Me, I prefer one hand at the top of the other one and the tip of the thumbs together. Now, which one is best? Try both and you will find there's one that makes you feel more com comfortable. <laughs> it's a new word that I'm trying to say well. So, give me some tips just to pronounce better, pronounce better that word. So are you ready? So let's start. So relax. Keep your back straight as much as possible. Relax your shoulder. Relax your face. Listen your breath. Feel the air coming in and out through the nose. Feel the movement of the rib cage. And observe your thoughts. Be aware where your thoughts are stopping. What is in your mind? Which emotions, feelings, memories, fears? Be open and honest with yourself. What is really there? And sometimes we will find that we have very strong feelings of anger, frustration, envy, sadness. That sometimes our mind is not positive, it's negative as well. And be aware where if those thoughts are those to you, those to others, and in which frequency, in which way. Take a few minutes just to observe what is in your mind and be honest with yourself. Have this inner conversation of say, I'm angry with these people because this, this, this. Really clear up 
your feelings, your emotions, and the thoughts you have at the moment. Don't worry and don't judge yourself if some of those thoughts are negative. Don't worry. Just observe them. You will realize that when a thought starts, immediately, and when it's finished, the other come up. Be aware in that moment when one thought finishes and the other one starts. Just let them come out. Open your eyes slowly. Take a deep breath. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. So when you close your eyes, you really can see and observe your thoughts. And sometimes we are even afraid of close our eyes because our mind keeps thinking. And that is normally happen at night time. When we want to sleep, that's why we get insomnia. That we cannot close the eyes because as soon as we close the eyes, too many things happen around. So let's go one more time. Okay, so the first step is that we are really open to close our eyes, observe, and be honest with ourselves. No judgment, no anything, it's just to be honest in what we have inside. So one more time, close your eyes, observe your thoughts, there might be memories, there might be some experience that you thought they are already gone and they are not affecting you. Just be aware of them. Be aware of the sensation you are having by closing your eyes and observe your thoughts. And what we are going to do after observing our thoughts, we're going to move our attention into our breath. Feel the air coming in and out through your nose. The yogis call it pranayama. The exercise of inhale and exhale. And they call it pranayama because in each inhalation, we not only take oxygen, we take prana. The energy is around us, like a chi. And when we exhale, as well, we release prana. So observe the breath, inhalation, and exhalation. And try to be very respect into that common action that we give it for granted. There's something we do every day without any attention. But now, Put full attention in that activity of our body. Inhale and exhale. And again, that inhalation that we are inhaling oxygen or prana. And we are leaving or moving out energy, prana and carbon dioxide. And that is the reason we are alive. The process of inhale and exhale. Observe how is your breath. If it's long, short, effortless. Try to don't overuse your nose by inhaling. Just try to relax as much as you can. And let the breath go naturally. If something disturbs you, if your mind show you another thought, it's okay. Observe the thought and move your attention again into your breath. Be aware of the sensation you are having in your tummy. In our tummy, we store a lot of emotions. 
that sometimes we just hold them. And with the breath now, we're going to let them move. You might feel pressure in your chest, in your upper back. Be aware of your thoughts if you are worried for something. If you are too excited as well for something, it will create tension. And slowly open your eyes again. Move your legs, move your body, anything you need to do. So these activities, always we need to feel comfortable. And we have to practice them as far as we feel good. Doesn't matter the time. So let's go one more time, okay? You can do some stretches, change your legs position, whatever is, is bad for you. And one more time. Take your sitting position, keep your back straight, close your eyes, observe your thoughts. Don't judge. Don't worry about them. Anytime you get hooked in your thoughts, move your attention into your breath. We listen the sound of the breath. We feel the movement of the ribs and the lungs. And we inhale with the awareness that we are taking energy, vital energy. And when we are exhaling, we are releasing waste, but also part of our energy. So it's a constantly absorption and releasing of, all, of energy from the nose, from the whole body. We try to keep this inhalation and exhalation through the nose. And anytime you catch yourself hooking in your thoughts, move your attention into your breath. I'm going to count 10 breaths together. Inhale deep. Exhale. Let's go nine. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Seven. Exhale. Six. Eight. Five, exhale, four, exhale, three, exhale, two, inhale, and exhale, and just one more, inhale, and exhale. If you kept your eyes closed and focusing on your breath in the last 10 breaths, you will feel now relaxed. Your mind still will move in different thoughts, emotions. That's okay. But if for 10 breaths you kept the attention into the movement of the lungs, then at this point you will feel calm and relaxed. Slowly open your eyes. How do you feel? So this is what we are going to do for the next days. Stay any moment, anywhere. Sit comfortable. Close your eyes. Take 10 deep breaths. 
and after the 10 breath, stay and hold that stage as much as you can. Don't worry if your mind is still is moving, moving, moving. You finish your 10 breath, you stretch, you move a little bit, and you again sit and you take another 10 breath with your eyes closed, fully aware. And the next time you might extend a little bit more that period of being the present moment. That your thoughts are there, but you are not really hooking in them. Because at the beginning it's going to be impossible to put your mind blank and just stay in the present moment. So we need to use tools and exercises to help us. And then our brain will understand the benefits and we will be easier to move into that stage. So let's try it one more time together. So relax your shoulders, relax your face, close your eyes. Observe your thoughts, let the ideas move around, observe them. Focus on your breath and we're going to breathe 10 times together. Inhale long and exhale. Inhale and exhale nine. Inhale and exhale eight. Inhale, exhale seven. Inhale, exhale six. Inhale, exhale five. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale one. Keep focusing your breath. And as soon as you get a hook in your thought, move your attention into your breath. Open your eyes. And the important part is when we finish, you finish the 10 breath, how do you feel and maintain that sensation? Stay in the present moment. But no more fluctuations of the mind. Even if it's for one second. And with the practice, we're going to be Make it longer, longer. So try it. Try it. Start today. And then tomorrow, the same. Take three times during the day that you just disconnect, close your eyes, count the stem breath, and at the end, make it as long as you can to maintain you in that stage of there are no more thoughts. It's just in the present moment. Of course, it will be helpful if it's in a place that is not too noisy, but even like that, we can still achieve that sensation. And even if it is better because then we are learning that it doesn't matter what is outside happening in front of you, you still keep your calm and your harmony. I hope you like this video and I hope this is helpful for you to manage your stress and, of course, balance our mind and have a better mental health. So we're going to do another three videos with different exercises that you can practice. Simple and practic ex practic exercises that are going to help us. And the most important is going to give us that understanding that our mind can be harmonized, can be in peace. And it's up to us how to manage our thoughts. But at the beginning, we don't know any strategies. So that's why during these four videos, we're going to have little exercises that are going to help us to understand the mindfulness concept yeah, and also apply it in our 
daily activities. We'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe, like, and share. That will help us to grow and it will help us to support us as well. Thank you for being here and we we'll see you in the next video.